guys, it's Oak back with another video. This time, uh, pre patch has dropped. Great news. Everybody's excited to get back into GSE. Uh, a lot of things have changed, and you probably have a, a lot of questions. I want to first of all say thank you for all the likes, uh, all of the comments, and for everyone who has subscribed. Uh, still need some more subscribers out there, so that would be great. But, uh, First things first, this is just a quick video to try to answer some of the, the many questions that have been coming up. So let's uh, have at it. So first of all, if you just loaded into the pre-patch and you have updated your GSE add-on, some people are having the issue where nothing comes up when they type GSE. So they would go slash GSE and nothing would load. Uh, in that instance, you may need to wipe your old uh, GSE storage. Uh, there's a couple commands that you can type in and uh, I will put those on the screen uh, and also in the uh, description down below. Once you get GSE up, uh, you may notice that your sequences are gone. Uh, and also some people are having an issue with importing any GSE sequences. In that case, uh, you may need to just delete your gse.lua file from your saved variables. So um, you have to go to your WTF slash account slash your account name uh, then uh, slash saved variables and then find the gse.lua file and delete this. Yes, your sequences are gone, uh, but everything's changed so much that it's not a terrible thing. You're, you're pretty much going to have to start writing stuff from scratch or importing fresh sequences that have been updated for the War Within and the pre-patch. Some people want to know where their icons have gone or their slash macros. GSE doesn't make any macros any longer so when you go into a sequence uh, you'll see your sequences here but it's not creating a macro that corresponds with that so to show like if I, I have my sequences open and my macro screen open you notice that none of these macros that are made these are old from Dragonflight none of these correspond with the name of my new sequences so yeah, it just doesn't create them. Um, clicking is pretty much gone uh, with the new GSE due to limitations that uh, Blizzard has implemented. It, it was a very odd process, but essentially the ability for GSE to use macro commands was removed in the alpha, uh, and then it was added back later on. Uh, however, with a ton of restrictions with only two weeks to go before pre-patch dropped. So one of the restrictions is that if GSE had to use any macro commands, then you could not use click anymore. Uh, if you simply want to see what your sequence is doing, you can watch my icon scroll video uh, for a workaround, and uh, I'll link that as well. Uh, some people are having an issue with uh, putting target enemy into their sequence. If you are doing a sequence, uh, everything has to be in your macro block but everything has to fit in here so if you want to do target enemy uh, it would have to be in one of your macro blocks doesn't have to be in all of them you know you can put it in like half you know or whatever that you want to do um, you'll notice some of my longer macro blocks like this one here or you know they they have uh, what your key press or your key release would have been um, that doesn't exist anymore, so there is no more key press, no more key release. Really, all that ever did was put whatever you had in the key press block into every single one of your blocks before and after your sequence. So instead of relying on those variables, you'll just need to put them into your macro block. So some people are having the issue as well that when they key bind their sequence, uh, it doesn't allow them to sky ride any longer. Uh, a lot of that is because of the way that the action bars work. You can only bind one thing in WoW. So you can either bind the action bar button uh, or the GSE button, but you cannot bind both. So my suggestion would be to uh, use something other than you know what you would normally use on your action bar like me when I, I suggested previously uh, my keybinds that I use I use brackets because those are not often used keys but that's what works for me you can use whatever works for you some people asked uh, where the tick boxes were for trinket use uh, there are no more tick boxes because the, the same thing as to uh, what I just said about key press and key release 
uh, it's not there anymore. If you're wanting to use your trinkets, you'll have to include them in one of your macro blocks. Um, on my um, sequence, I've included them in one macro block. It's this one here. So you'll see that I put the macro command for use uh, 13 or 14. Um, there is an alternative, but uh, the alternative is uh, you can click on use item instead and it will change that block into an item block and then you would change the item to the item slot which in this case would be like 13 or 14 and you'll want to put the uh, unit name either for target or player depending on who you're wanting to target with that uh, particular um, trinket so that, that's the only two ways that you can really do it if you want to have any conditional macros which most of us do uh, you would need to put those conditions into a macro block. So uh, like in this case, um, you know, conditional macros are basically things where you have cast and then you put things within the bracket, such as like no mod or no channeling uh, or at player or at mouse over, you know, whatever the condition might be. If you want to use anything like that, it has to be in a macro text block. It is possible to just cast spells outright. Uh, if you want to do that, you would just click the spell tick box and type the name of the spell in here. You would have to say where you want this spell to go to. So in this case, for Blade of Justice, you'd want it to go on your target. So I'm not sure if uh, it has to be caps or lowercase, but uh, on beta we were doing everything lowercase, so I'm assuming it has to be lowercase. Um, and then that would just cast your spell, but it wouldn't have any conditionals. So like if you were channeling, this would interrupt your channel. It, it doesn't wait for you to be in combat. Uh, it would just go. Can you import Dragonflight sequences into GSE 3.2? Yes and no. While you can, if you are one of uh, Timothy Luke's Patreons, uh, his Patreon version of GSE does have the ability to import um, Dragonflight sequences into it, uh, but that is a Patreon exclusive. Uh, on the flip side, even though you can import uh, Dragonflight sequences into GSE, uh, don't expect them to work out of the box uh, unless they are very basic sequences. Uh, many sequences uh, have a lot of information in the key press and the key release. And, you know, as mentioned previously, we're, we're limited to what we can put in there. Now we're limited to only 255 characters, whereas the Dragonflight GSC, we could have a whole bunch more. So when you import a Dragonflight sequence in, if you have the Patreon version, then it will combine everything from your key press and your key release, your trinket ticks, everything into um, your macro blocks, which has a high likelihood of going over the character limit. So because of that, uh, the whole block would be skipped because it went over the character limit. So that uh, chances are there's going to be a lot of editing if you did want to import. Uh, the other thing with importing as well is there used to be blocks that were called repeat blocks. If these were used in the sequence that you're trying to import, those repeat blocks go away. They just disappear as if they never existed. So uh, while you can import Dragonflight sequences, uh, my suggestion would be just to start from scratch or use um, sequences that were made for the War Within or pre-patch. Well, that's me going through my list of questions that uh, I've come across so far. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below. Go to the uh, GSE United Discord and, and type in your questions there, uh, or even the GSE uh, official Discord for Timothy Luke, uh, and you can put your questions there as well. But once again, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate every single one of you for hitting the like button, uh, for putting your comments down below, and especially for subscribing to my channel. But uh, that will do it for this one. Thank you very much, and have a great day.